Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. It is still the 4th of January. It is Tuesday, 2022. Let me take these off so I can not be like flipping out with my eyes. Ah, oh, craziness. So, Hella is a lunatic, first of all. I'm going to put that out there in the beginning. So, I, I, I got to tell you the story because it just. Caesar and Pandora won't make a peep, a sound. 12 hours, I'll wait till you wake up, whatever time you wake up, to take them out. Wonderful dogs. Awesome dogs. Not Hella. So, an example this morning, and this is the other thing, too. So, this morning, 6 a.m., she wakes me up. She's got to go outside. So, I just take just her out. And she pees. I bring her back in. One half an hour later, she's jumping on me again. Why? Because now she's got to poop. Okay? But she don't do it at the same time. She never does it at the same time. She'll do one, wants to come in half an hour later, and I'm like, really? So it's insanity. It is insanity. But like I said, Caesar and uh, Pandora, they would sleep. They don't care. You get them out, take them out for the last run about midnight. And they're good for 12 hours. They don't care. <laughs> so, uh, fun, fun. Every animal is different. So, anyway, I <laughs> hope everybody's doing well. want to talk about Andrew Cuomo, the esteemed defract governor of New York State. All the charges were brought up against him. And, oh, my God, he's going to be in so much trouble because he's a toucher, creepy toucher. All charges dropped. The prosecutor decided there just wasn't enough evidence, and so they dropped the charges. You know, it must be nice to be rich, to have influential friends, to have people that you can go knock on their door and go, you know what, I got a little bit of dirty laundry on you. I got a lot of information that I could share with everybody. So uh, why don't we make this go away, right? And then I also had to laugh. I had to tell you, so the ethics committee says that, oh, well, he has to turn in his uh, $5.1 million bonus from his book for his book deal that he got. Oh, and the book did, like, crap, by the way. Uh, very, very bad and panned. Um, now they're saying he has to give that $5.1 million back. And he's like, no, I don't. <laughs> it's, it's just... It, Folks, I t I'll tell you what, you, you couldn't make this stuff up. You couldn't make up a story and say, we're going to do it this way. People would be like, no way, that's, that's unrealistic. You can't do it like that. This is what we have, folks. This is what we have running the country. This is what we have in big business and politics. This kind of stuff goes on constantly. We're not privy to it because, you know, who are we? We are the peons, right? So something else I wanted to mention um, also in this video. So I wanted to definitely hear your guys' feedback on this. So these poor women, before I go on, these poor women came out, talked about the embarrassment and the shame and all this type of stuff that they had to deal with because they came clean of what was happening, right? And that's, you know, well, screw them. You know, he's an important man. We can't have that happening. Ridiculous. Unbelievable. What about them? What about the victims, right? But that's not how it works in our society. We don't care about the victims. We care about whatever is the agenda, number one. The agenda is always first. If it fits a narrative, then that's what we're going to run with, especially the press. Uh, and it has to be the right agenda. It can't be, you know, the wrong type of agenda. It has to be to fit whatever they're trying to push. Second thing I have, I have a question, and I'm curious if some of you would do the research on this. I want you two periods of time, two periods of time. We're just going to use these two because I'm sure it happens much, much more. But these are two prevalent times, and I am curious if this had any impact on how people were voting, uh, our congressmen or senators and stuff like that. So the first would be, uh, back before 9-11, my question would be, how many people in Congress, how many people in the Senate loaded up on defense stocks? Maybe they had some inside information that something might be coming. You better go buy, uh, you know, some defense stocks. So I'm curious if there was all of a sudden a uptick in purchases of stocks in 
you know, weapon manufacturing and, and the, that type of companies, Halliburton and all those type of things. So, uh, you know, I'm curious if they're, you know, Boeing, uh, you know, and all those type of things. Were, was there an uptick in those stocks and who purchased them? What senators or congressmen purchased stocks just before 9-11? That would be the first one. The second one, which obviously is much more recent, how many senators and congressmen purchased stocks in pharmaceutical companies, right, just before this whole thing happened? How many? I wonder. I'll bet you, I'll bet you there was a whole lot more than you think. Now, I haven't done the research. I haven't checked into that, but that would be uh, something that if you have the free time, I'd love you to check that out and kind of get an idea and then, how did they vote? See, there's the other part. There's the second part. How did they vote with what they were, you know, doing as far as, oh, oh yes, yeah, so oh, we have to save everybody. We have to save everybody. Like Jimmy Fallon, who just got sick. Whoopi Goldberg, who just got sick. But remember, those are just breakthrough cases. Just breakthrough cases. So, nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. Don't pay any attention to the man behind the curtain. Interesting times, folks. We live in very, very interesting times. And, it, and it's funny because that veil, and this is my opinion, my opinion, that veil is faltering. That curtain is being pulled back. And more people, more and more people every day are pulling back that curtain going, wait a minute, wait, who, who's back there? Who's pulling the levers? Who's doing that? So, yeah. That is... Uh, Something that I find very, very interesting. Now, I'm not trying to give out any false information. I'm not making any accusations. I'm not saying that any senators or congressmen did these things. I'm just curious if there was that pattern. And if there was that pattern, after they did that, how was their voting done? What did they vote? How did they vote? So, I think that's interesting. I think you would be surprised. Um with a little bit of research. I think you're going to be very, very surprised. It is a, and again, this is strictly my opinion, down in Washington, D.C., in Congress and the Senate, it is a cesspool. A cesspool. And uh, the rats that have been there the longest don't want to change a thing because they're just doing nothing but making bank. Making bank. Unbelievable. So, anyway, I definitely... On these two topics, uh, I want to hear your feedback, and I want to hear what you have to say uh, on that. And uh, I think it'll be, uh, I'm very curious to see what you guys say. But uh, those are things that need to be paid attention to, because I will guarantee you this, okay? Guarantee you this, especially the second topic that I brought up in this video. That ain't going to be in the press. They're not going to talk about that in the press. <laughs> no way. No way. Powerful people are controlling all that narrative, and they're not going to let something like that come out. Okay? So, very curious to see how that goes. So, anyway, um, I am going to jump off of here for now. I definitely want to hear your feedback on these two topics and hear what you guys have to say. We live in a very, very interesting world right now. Um, a lot of crazy, crazy stuff happening. Oh, and I, one more thing. One more thing I wanted to bring up. This I found coincidental. Very coincidental. So, they haven't come out and said it yet. They haven't come out and said it yet. But, so they're investigating how did that fire start in Colorado, right? Now, they are saying that they believe it's possible, possible, that the fire may have started near a religious compound. Hmm. That's fascinating. Fascinating. Who knows? Something to think about. Got to have somebody to blame, right? Why not blame those crazy separatist people that want to be off living a happy life by themselves without all the interference of the government and restrictions and crazy laws? Why, you know, they would have to be the culprits. Uh, could be. You never know. So, anyway, I definitely want to hear you guys' feedback on this. Uh, so, and I've been on a little bit of a rant on this video, but uh, I hope you picked up on sarcasm because it was very thick. Remember, guys, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. And again, I hope you enjoyed the fire, because this time 
It is very hot and my entire back is sweating and I have sweat dripping down my back. Um, also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity. And you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all later. I hope you all have a great night. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.